Are you ready to retire? Get organized now with our retirement checklist. We are helping you check off all of the boxes before retirement. Right now on Retiring Today. Welcome to Retiring Today. Are you a list maker? Does it help you get organized? Well, this is the episode of Retiring Today for you. I'm here with Lauren Merkel. He's a certified financial fiduciary, a certified financial planner, and a retirement income certified professional. And this is Anna Marie Morrow. She is the director of Medicare here at Merkel Retirement Planning. Lauren, a list. I, I know, are you guys like this? There's something kind of satisfying about, sometimes I go the old school way. I write it on a paper, I check it off. It's kind of something kind of satisfying about. So we put together a list that kind of helps you get to retirement. Lauren, talk about this list, why we put it together, and how it will help people. It can be very satisfying. We like to accomplish in a, a list where you can check off, I accomplished this, I accomplished this. It all helps us accomplish what we're trying to accomplish, but also it helps us remember what it is that we actually need to do to try to accomplish what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, based on my own personal experience, I think a few years back, prior, prior to my daughter being born, she's 10, and I would go to the grocery store. I, <laughs> would, I would have a list, I would have the mental oh, list. Oh, the, men the old the mental, mental list. The mental list. That was 10 years ago, you were a lot younger than born. <laughs> yeah, I know, and it still didn't work very well. But you know what, if I came home and I forgot a couple items, no big deal. Right. I go to the grocery store now, without a list, I forget a couple items, oh, yeah. then Jace is letting me know I forgot a couple items. So now I go to the grocery store, I have that list, and I make sure that I don't forget anything. So this is talking about just getting groceries on a weekly basis. What we're talking about here today on the show is making sure that you accomplish everything you're trying to accomplish from a retirement planning standpoint. We're talking about the rest of your life. You've worked 40 years to build up this, this portfolio of assets. You have social security, maybe you have a pension. Now, how do you use all of these in the best way possible to make sure you have the retirement dreams or fulfill the retirement dreams that you've always had? So that's the importance of the list, which is why we created this retirement checklist to make sure that, that you can remember all the things that you need to do to make sure you can fulfill your retirement. And I feel like guys, this list is kind of for people who haven't retired yet, but they're thinking about it, right? So they can get ready. So when we made this list, it worked together with the components of retirement. We call those components the Merkel Retirement Plan. Let's talk about the components because they're going to guide every piece of this checklist. There's six components of this plan. The first and probably the most important is the lifestyle component because this is all what people are going to do in retirement. It's the hobbies that they're going to do. It's the travel. It's, it's all the things that you have dreamt about for the last probably seriously the last five years or so of when you have all this time on your hands now, how are you gonna spend this time? So that's the lifestyle piece. And then the, all the other five components are how you are financially going to accomplish your lifestyle retirement plan. So we have the income. We know we need income when we, re when we retire. Uh, the tax planning piece, how do you make the most out of the income that you receive? The healthcare, Medicare piece of it, also including long-term care, but then also the legacy plan. And then of course the, the final component is the investment plan. Okay, we're here for the checklist, so let's tell people what's going to be on the checklist. Here's a look at it. Five things. Risk, taxes, Medicare, Social Security, and test driving retirement. Medicare, something in Remaro, this, this is your specialty right here. We cannot talk about a comprehensive retirement plan without talking about Medicare. No, absolutely, because each component of this list, of the plan, it in it dictates which decisions you should make when looking at other components. There are no siloed decisions when you head into retirement. And a big piece of feedback I hear is, oh, I didn't know I needed to be thinking about tax planning and investment planning when I go to look at Medicare. It's amazing to see how it all works together and that's what this checklist really does illustrate. Yeah, and if you're maybe currently working with a financial advisor, you might be going, what's a director of Medicare? I've never heard of that. Well. We're gonna tell you what it is because it's so important. So Anne-Marie, tell people how you work together with the other members of the team here at Merkle Retirement Planning. When we put together your plan, when we sit down with you and we get to know what your goals are when you're turning 65, or if you plan to continue to work after the age of 65, retiring later on, we can sit down and let you know what is the best route to go with Medicare. Should you elect at 65? or should you only elect part A? Or should you elect nothing at 65 as you continue to work? It's so customizable, and that's the great benefit of working with retirement planners, healthcare specialists, Medicare, so we can make sure that you are set up for success 
whichever decision you choose to make. And the fact that it's customizable is a really good thing, but part of the issues that come with uh, items that can be more customizable is they're more complex because the customization leads to more decisions that they can make. And I don't think a week goes by that I don't sit down with one of our families having a conversation about their retirement plan, that they're not talking about their Medicare decisions that they have to make, whether they've already turned 65 and made their initial decisions or they are turning 65 and they are getting bombarded with all of these decisions or options that they have with Medicare. And when, when I talk to them, there is a serious look of confusion or expression of confusion because they just don't know what to do. And then how do this, the decisions they make with Medicare play into the decisions that we are talking about across the table as far as the taxes and the income and all that other kind of stuff. So the director of Medicare in Anna Marie's position is very integral to helping them relieve this anxiety, knowing that they're making the best decisions, the most confident decisions that they can make as they go into retirement. Yeah, because you said A, and it made me think of all those other letters associated B, G, L, Q. I don't, it, it, that's all confusing. A lot of letters. It's a lot to work so <laughs> through. So we know Medicare is on this checklist, but let's get started with the first thing on the checklist, and it's the risk. It's up on your screen right now. Action steps. I like that there are action steps on this checklist. So let's, let's talk about getting a risk analysis. What is it? Why do I need one? How will it help me get ready for retirement? When we think about our investment plan, what most people are concerned about is how much money are they making, or once you get into retirement, how much money can they lose? And that's what the risk assessment really shows people is how much is at risk? When we go through these market downtimes, and by the way, market downtimes happen, they've always happened, they always will happen. On average, we go through recessions every five to six years. So if you think about the families that we work with and the course of their retirement, they will see many recessions over that, that time frame. So this is nothing that we should be surprised about. This is nothing you should be surprised about. You will see downtimes in the market. Now those downtimes don't have to be bad. And that's what this risk assessment is all about is how do you get a good understanding of here's what would happen to your portfolio when we go through these bad times. And then the questions you can ask yourself are, are you comfortable with that? Now one of the questions on here is, how comfortable are you with losing money? Nobody wants to lose money. Right. Right? Nobody wants to lose money. And when we ask that question, almost every time immediately they're saying, I don't want to lose anything. <laughs> yeah. right? But when you take risk, and most of you are taking risk because you know you want to beat inflation, you know you want to beat taxation, and, and you want to grow it on top of that. So most of you are taking risk. So when we go through the bad times, your portfolio will, will lose. It'll be down. It's just a matter of how much, and will it disrupt what you're trying to do from a retirement planning standpoint? That's what the risk assessment shows. Okay, get a risk analysis. So we checked it off. You kind of uh, talked about this, the second box. Identify how much I don't want to lose. I think that's also part of like when we go through the process with families and individuals, then they can adjust their portfolios so they feel really comfortable with the amount they could lose or could gain in an up or down market. It's one thing to get the information and say, if you have a million dollar portfolio, based on how you're currently invested, we go through a really bad town, your time, your portfolio is gonna be down 200,000, right? That's good to know. But now we need to take action because if your response to that assessment is, no, well, 200,000, like that. that, that, that's too much. Let's switch things around. Now let's do something about it. So when we do go through the bad times, instead of you being down 200,000, you're only down 150 or 100 or whatever you feel comfortable with, with, which also fits into your plan. So taking action, having the information is one thing, now knowing how to take the action that's appropriate for you to help you with your plan is the second step. Okay, and we checked off that third box to change your investment allocation. So you wanna feel comfortable. Again, I'm working, I'm, I'm saving, it, that's all good and, and well, but when I'm getting close to actually spending that money, I wanna feel really good about how it's invested. Confidence, that's what people are looking for. When you, when you decide to pull the trigger and switch from the, the uh, pre-retirement phase to the retirement phase, what you're doing is you're saying, you're no longer going to be saving money, putting money away for retirement, now you're gonna flip the switch and you're gonna start taking money out. And that can be a really anxious time for a lot of people. So confidence is what people are looking for. And that's what this risk assessment will help people gain is confidence on the decisions that they will have to make. You can get a copy of this checklist. We'll give you that URL in just a moment. But first, here is an opportunity. It's a 15 minute retirement checkup call. It's a complimentary opportunity. It's your chance to talk about your situation. Maybe you're wondering how much risk am I taking right now in my portfolio? I don't know. Well, you can talk to a retirement planner here 
is the website. It's on the screen right now. Go there and get on the calendar of the retirement planners here at Merkle Retirement Planning and schedule your 15-minute complimentary retirement checkup call today. We'll keep going through the retirement checklist when we continue. The Merkle Retirement Planning Team provides personable and professional expertise unrivaled in this area. They include us in every step of the planning process. The peace of mind provided to us by the Merkle team allows us to fully enjoy this special time of our lives. Instead of feeling snake bed, we feel confident that with the Merkle Retirement Planning Team at our sides, we can navigate any challenge that comes our way. Merkle Retirement Planning, your retirement starts here. Has the recent market volatility put your retirement plan to the test? See if your retirement is still on track by scheduling a retirement checkup with Lauren Merkel. During this 15-minute phone call, we'll discuss if your retirement plan could be disrupted by long-term market volatility. We'll also analyze your current tax plan and provide strategies on how to take advantage of the market. Go to MerkelPlan.com and click Book Now to schedule your retirement checkup today. Welcome back to Retiring Today. We're going through your retirement checklist if you think you're retirement ready. This checklist will help you get organized. I'm here with Lauren Merkel and Anna Marie Morrow. Let's go through number two on the checklist. We've got proactive tax strategies. Okay, Lauren, the action step. Let's get to that side of the checklist. Complete Roth conversions based on the year that you're going into, right? Your tax situation? Well, not only based on current year, but also the following year as well. So when we do our Roth conversion analysis, which is a part of the tax analysis, we're looking at what would make sense, if anything, w uh, from a Roth conversion standpoint this year. Are there other tax planning strategies that you could incorporate within your plan this year? But then we also need to look forward to next year as well. And one of the most important reasons for that is because everybody's fearful of this down market. We talked about that a little bit this last segment. But if you're prepared, you can actually take advantage. When the market's down, we call that a discount. And if you have a plan ready to take advantage of that discount on the market, like a Roth conversion, then that can help you even that much more. So by looking a year forward, in, in a, a discount on the market happens early in the year. So January, February, March, like a 2020, then you already know what you're gonna do and you can enact that strategy when the market's down and, and take advantage of that discount in the market. Okay, but part of the fun ahead. with having that, that discussion about future Roth conversions, part of the fun about having the comprehensive plan is we can also talk about how that can affect your Part B premium, what to anticipate, but then showing what the benefits are of having that strategy and letting them be prepared of what's gonna come in the future. And the word you said there that's really important is showing. I mean, you said a lot of important words there, but <laughs> one that stood out to me was showing because the, when, when it's your plan and it's a written plan, you can see it. So it's one thing for Anna Marie, you to tell them this is what they should be doing, but it's another thing when you can guide them along and they can see it and they can see this is the impact that this strategy, implementing this strategy is gonna have uh, from an impact standpoint this year, but also next year and 10 years down the road as well. Okay, and do you guys think it's possible that there uh, is a need here to explain what a Roth conversion is? Before I can check it off, I wanna understand you know, what I'm checking on my retirement checklist. So let's, let's define that for people. Yeah, essentially most people's wealth, retirement wealth is, is underneath their pre-tax retirement account. So they have a 401k plan, they've never paid taxes on that money before. They have an IRA perhaps, they've never paid taxes on that money before. And at some point they will pay taxes on this money. So what a Roth conversion is, is it's intentionally saying they are going to pay taxes or you will pay taxes on this money right now, as opposed to waiting until later down the road when you take it out for income or at now age 72 when they're forced to take this distribution out and pay taxes on it. So a Roth conversion, you take a piece of the money from the pre-tax accounts, put it over here in a Roth IRA, you pay taxes in the year that you do that. But once that money's underneath the Roth IRA, it grows tax-free forever. And that's why implementing a Roth conversion when the market's down can be a really advantageous uh, event because you take money out when the market's down, pay taxes on it, put it over here in the tax-free Roth. When the market comes back up, you get all of that growth on the tax-free side. So there's just some of the strategies you can incorporate along with your investment plan. And when you have that taxable event, when you make that conversion, that does count as 
as income, which can affect your Medicare costs. That's exactly so what just, I was yeah, thinking. Yeah, it's another yeah. great example of how you really don't want to make silo decisions. It all works together. Okay, I can check it off now. Thank you. I check completely it understand it. Okay, next one on the retirement checklist. Contribute to tax advantageous accounts. First off, what are tax advantageous? Accounts. Tax advantageous accounts are accounts that you get a tax benefit from, and there's many different types of these accounts. So the Roth IRA is one of those. We were talking about the Roth. Once it's in that Roth IRA, they get all the growth tax-free. So that is very advantageous, and that's why it's one of the most coveted retirement accounts for retirees. Tax-free growth is the best kind of growth. Another tax advantageous, advantageous account is what most people are accustomed to with their 401k. You put money in, it just comes out of your check automatically. Uh, let's say it's $500 per pay period. You don't pay taxes on that $500 per pay period and it grows tax deferred. So every year you get growth on it, you don't pay taxes in that year on the growth, but when you take it out, you will pay taxes at your ordinary income tax bracket. And there's some other tax advantageous accounts. What you're trying to do with your tax plan is identify which accounts are going to work best for you, given everything, including the current tax rate environment, what we predict or think is gonna happen in the future from a tax rate standpoint. Uh, so there's many types of accounts. You just wanna identify which ones work best for you right now. When we were putting together the checklist, you guys, we didn't think about having to say advantageous on TV. It's a times. lot. Yeah, 10 times? Could it's you do a it 10 lot times? Worse. No. No, okay. Let's go on to the next piece of the check checklist. No, nobody wanted to hear me do it 10 <laughs> yeah, times. Yeah, it would be a struggle. Make a long-term tax plan. This is what all of this really is. It really is. And we're talking about, when, especially when you retire. I mean, you work for 40 years, you're, you're saving money, you're being disciplined. But when you retire, you're not working. And so there's a whole new type of anxiety that comes with, you're not working, you're not making money, you're not saving, you're taking money out. So in retirement, it's not about how much you make anymore, it's about how much you get to keep. And that's what the advantage of the tax plan is, is it's, it's the whole intent of it is around, let's keep more of what we're taking out. So we get to spend more. So you can push your dollar further and it's, it's kind of like in the accumulation years where right, you're clipping coupons, you have a finite amount of income coming in, so you're trying to make the most out of it. Well, in retirement, you can do that by implementing an effective tax plan. Okay, let's check that one off. You might want to know, hey, where can I get a copy of this checklist? Here it is, it's on the screen right now. It's MerkleChecklist.com. You can download the checklist, you can follow along, or you can start a discussion about retirement and get organized for your retirement. Okay, Anna Marie Mar, are you ready? I am ready. It is Medicare time. <laughs> Number three is Medicare. We could talk about this for a really long time, but we're gonna buzz three, through the three action steps that are on our retirement checklist. So the first one, Anna Marie, determine my taxable income. Here's the key on this one, two years prior, what, to electing Medicare? That's right, so when you go to elect Medicare, your Part B Medicare, when you go to elect Part B, they actually do a two year look back on what you claimed for income. So that's when Lauren's talking about Roth conversions, if you did Roth conversions in that two year look back, two years ago, make sure that you consider that in preparation on what you could be paying or held liable for for your Part B premium. Now rest assured, um, if you do fall within those higher earned income categories, you do have options for life-changing events where you can file an appeal. So it's not all bad news. You do have options out there. The great thing is, is to just be aware of it. Know what your options are, know what you can expect and how it can fit inside your plan. This is why you and I are always having conversations about our family's tax plans because you wanna know what's the income gonna be from a Medicare standpoint to make sure that they're not paying any more than what they have to from a, a Medicare Part B hitting that IRMA. Exactly. And so this is the importance of us working together on behalf of our families to make sure that this might, if we're making a tax decision, it might look really good just from a tax standpoint. But then when you look at some of the other uh, repercussions that could come from that implementing that tax strategy, like higher Medicare Part B premiums, it may not look so good comprehensively. And that's why we have to work so closely together on behalf of our families. Well, and what's great when we do have that conversation together, when people aren't seeing it very individual, oh, I have this huge premium to pay because I did this. When we talk to them together and it's a part of a plan and they see the benefits of Roth conversions and they know that they're not gonna be stuck with this higher premium for, for longer than they need to. Um, it's just, it's, it's the fun part, I feel like, where we can see them relax and they have confidence, the confidence you were talking about, and knowing that 
all the components are working together. You guys are also making a really good argument, too, for starting this process maybe before age 65. Yeah, I think that is so key, just to prepare um, of you know what can come ahead, because Medicare does change every year, but just to know that you have that in your back pocket and then start those strategies before 65, before, you know, few years before you're ready to retire. Just know what to expect. Okay, let's check that one off. Let's go to identify Medicare costs for, 20, for, for 2022 is the checklist we're working with, but it doesn't matter what, what year we're talking about here. Mm -hmm. that, that's when that income piece comes into play, right? Yes, because every year Medicare costs change and coming in from 2021 into 2022, we saw the highest price increase to premiums, Part B premiums, Part A deductibles, Part B deductibles, we saw huge increases. So just make sure that your plan accounts for that and you talk to your planner about what to expect. How does it affect your plan? Any changes you need to make to support those increasing costs, make that conversation a part of a regular conversation. And that's why it should be included in the income plan because what they have to afford now from a, a healthcare, I mean, they don't have a choice. They, everybody needs healthcare, so they're gonna have to pay these higher premiums and that could directly impact their spendable income. So from a tax planning standpoint, we're trying to increase their spendable income, but it's, it's being weighed down by some of these increases like uh, the increases on Medicare, mm -hmm. and that's why the income plan needs to be implemented uh, uh, as a part of the overall Medicare and healthcare plan too, because it's all interrelated and it will impact the spendable income that people get. Yeah, and you can't talk about Medicare without talking about healthcare, without talking about long-term care. And if you look at the numbers on how expensive that stuff is right now, it can be overwhelming. But I think that leads up to this third action step uh, under Medicare, which is which is healthcare, which is tax planning, is work it all into the plan. A lot of times, though the numbers are big, you can work a plan to pay for it. That's right, all of the components work to support each other, which is why making those silo decisions you really wanna stay away from, talk to your planner, see how all the parts work together, and it gives you a lot of confidence in making those decisions. Great information on that part of the checklist. We've got two more aspects to go over. It's social security and test driving retirement when retiring today continues. Anytime I have even the smallest question about my accounts or what effect the latest tax law might have on my situation, the Merkle Retirement Planning Team is always there and quick to help. I'm so glad they treat you like, well, like family. I'm so happy to have such an excellent team working for my future and ensuring I do the best to achieve my financial goals. Merkle Retirement Planning, your retirement starts here. Biking, boating, relaxation? What's your retirement vision? Learn how to take the money you've worked so hard to save and turn it into the retirement of your dreams during our Journey to Retirement workshop. Like getting ready for a trip, getting to and through retirement takes a roadmap. This workshop is the first step to planning your 20 or 30 year vacation. Go to retirewithmerkel.com to register for our Journey to Retirement workshop this week. Welcome back to Retiring Today. We are going through the retirement checklist. If you're ready to retire, this is a great way to get organized. Here is the information you need. This is the website where you can download your retirement checklist, but don't go there just yet. Hold on, we've got a little bit to talk about when it comes to the retirement checklist. And we gotta get to Social Security, Lauren, because that is a big part of people's income in retirement. And what's on this checklist is one of the most overlooked steps that people that people just don't do. We used to get these Social Security statements in the mail. We don't get them anymore, or at least most people don't. But it's important to check what your reported wage earnings are because we do see mistakes on those reports. And more often than not, when it's a mistake, they put down a zero instead of what people's real earnings are. And that will have a direct impact on what your Social Security benefit is because they use the top 35 reported wage earning year. So this is simple. All you have to do is go to ssa.gov, G-O-V, and we'll put that on the screen for you. Uh, create an account, and then you can see what wages were reported, make sure they're accurate, but then you also get information on here's what your Social Security benefit would be if you take it at this age, this age, and this age, and so forth, and then that will help you with your overall retirement plan, especially on the income plan. Okay, I can do that myself, but what, what would I do, or what could a retirement planner do for me if I wanted a Social Security analysis? That's yeah. the second. Yeah, so the Social Security analysis, you have up to 81 different options when it comes time to electing your Social 
Social Security, so that's a lot. It, it, it kind of is like Medicare, it's really confusing. So we want to weed through what of the 81 different options might make the most sense for people as far as when it comes time to elect. That's what the analysis does. It'll narrow down the options from 81 to a handful that make the most sense, and it's much easier to work within when we're creating the income plan. And that's a service that is provided, obviously, here at the Merck Retirement Plan. Yes, that's, that's a service that we provide. Okay. And we make it very simple. It's very easy. Once you see that analysis, then and you incorporate that with your overall plan, it becomes a much easier decision. One last uh, box here is to identify the, how the benefits might change uh, from year to year and work them into the plan. There's many ways that benefits can change Social Security benefits. One is the cost of living adjustment. The, the most recent cost of living adjustment is 5.9%, the highest we've seen in decades. That will have an impact. Also, your wages. Your wages will impact whether you make less or more or you retire and make a zero. All that's going to have an impact, uh, which we can demonstrate and what kind of impact it will have within the overall analysis. Number five, test drive retirement. Create a plan. Create a lifestyle plan. Yeah, and a lot of people have the test drove unintentionally retirement based on COVID. A lot of people were working from home, spent a lot more time at home, and that was a test drive for many people. But when you get closer to retirement, so 12, 12 months out from retirement, test drive your budget. Make sure that budget is going to be adequate for the lifestyle that, that, that you want to have in retirement. Uh, but also test drive activities. Make sure you have a, a, a clear activity plan of what you want to do in retirement on a day-to-day -day basis so you don't just find yourself on the couch kind of kind of withering away as, as life passes by. Make sure you have a plan, a, an activity plan in place to make sure you can fully enjoy your retirement and test drive it to make sure that's really you in this next phase. Yeah, and that activity plan is obviously related to all the other things, your retirement income, your, your Medicare, all, all those things work together. Also, retiring early, a lot of people are doing this but you definitely have to be even more diligent about a plan. They call it the great resignation where a lot of people were on the cusp of retiring. They knew they had 18 months, two years left, and now all these, the world changed and people are reconsidering that 18 months to two years and they're deciding to retire now. It used to be 10,000 people were retiring every single day. Now it's closer to 13,000 people. So they need a plan to help them feel more confident on these decisions and to make sure they get the best out of their retirement. Go to MerkelRetire.com or scan the QR code you're seeing right now on your screen there. You'll see our retirement checklist or join us for another episode of this show. It's Retiring Today and we thank you for watching. Anytime I have even the smallest question about my accounts or what effect the latest tax law might have on my situation, the Merkle Retirement Planning Team is always there and quick to help. I'm so glad they treat you like, well, like family. I'm so happy to have such an excellent team working for my future and ensuring I do the best to achieve my financial goals. Merkle Retirement Planning, your retirement starts here.